Hey everybody, today's video, back in the kitchen, gonna do uh, a meal on the crock pot here. It's uh, beef ramen, and uh, yes, we are gonna use like the stuff you remember from college, but this is gonna be uh, a little amped up. Uh, yeah, there they are, and here's my lovely assistant, <laughs> or maybe I'm the assistant. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see as we go along here. So, first thing you wanna start off with is two pounds, of ground beef and of course this is Morrison beef homegrown uh, we know what went in it and we know what didn't go in it so always always still better when you know what you're eating uh, the rest of the ingredients uh, we've got them over here on the table and we'll just basically add them in there and uh, it's really simple you know um, some people shy away from them when you're like, oh, you got to brown this or saute this first. Uh, but it really doesn't take that long, especially if you have your wife do it. I mean, it, <laughs> it didn't take me any time. <laughs> okay, so once we got that, uh, then we're going to go with two cups of carrots cut into matchstick size, roughly. I mean, a little bigger probably than a matchstick, but like that. Yeah, I ate one. She doesn't miss a thing. <clears throat> Two red bell peppers. Oh, that one's a wild one. Made it to the floor. I don't get in trouble or anything. Come on. Uh, what do we got? Uh, six green onions. Notice how uniformly these are cut. Yeah, she cut those, I didn't, so very good job. You do want most of them cut similar size, so they cook uh, similarly, but mine aren't always that precise. Yeah, the mushrooms are. And then one whole onion. And about a cup and a half, two cups of sliced mushrooms. These will cook way down, so you know they won't take up near that volume once they're cooked. And yeah, we're getting pretty full in the crack pot here, which is good because now all we've got left is oh, can you grab me a any three quarter cup of soy sauce? Want to use the open one or? Uh, looks like we'll use the one I got. Also need uh, three cloves of garlic. Um, minced. Well, I cheat and I get it already uh, minced. And this one happens to be roasted, so you'll get a little little more flavor with that. Seems like a lot of soy sauce. It does, and, and actually... But you put it with all that broth. Yeah, and I cut it down a little bit. It, it should be actually two cups. The rest, the original recipe called for, or no, a cup of soy sauce. And I cut it down to three quarter because there's a lot of salt in soy sauce and you can always add more. Uh, but if you put too much in there, then you're gonna have, it's gonna be really salty and not, not that enjoyable. So I'll take that. And now we need the four bags of the old college ramen. Probably don't put them in though, right? right, right? No, you do. And they won't get like super mushy? No, because, uh, and then we're gonna put the stock in and the stock soaks into it. She's questioning my uh, recipe. Uh, you don't need the, uh, don't need the flavor packet because we already got all that in there. And then, it depends if you like if you like your noodles long or if you like them smaller. Personally, I I like them a little smaller, so I'm gonna do a little break on them. According to Chinese tradition, you're not supposed to cut them. I agree, but um, since we're in South Dakota and it's mine, I can eat it however I want. <laughs> do you need this? Uh, that'll be at the end. So what she just asked is if I needed the sesame seeds. Uh, those are basically just a garnish, 
and you can put those on at the end. There's two of them in. Oh, and in case Jenny's watching, uh, she was a little worried that I might need to, uh, might have needed Liz to help on my Chex Mix video uh, when I was trying to open that bag. It wasn't the lack of strength. I was just trying not to blow it apart and then have it all over the kitchen. Um, but thanks for watching. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Crackpot's full. Luckily, the only thing left to put in is liquid. So, chicken stock, shake her up. Turn it on. I've got it on low right now. Watch it. Stir it every half hour or so, so, and let it go for about four to six hours. You can come back and say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so my assistant, thanks for her help today, and thanks for you guys for watching, and take care.